you're all here because um, under the new business, if you have questions or whatever, we will try to get our our business meeting out of the way. So when I do open this up to um, the floor, uh, I just would like to caution everybody to try to give everybody at least three minutes to speak or whatever. If you want to speak a second time, we need to at least let everybody uh, have have a, a one shot at it and I would hope that there might be a little anger or whatever out there but I would hope that all our questions and all our discussions are done in a in a manner that becomes better for us. Yeah, it's a little bit business. Whole business. No, I, I have all business. I, so do I. Hang on. Okay. Okay. I I no, I said before. Else. I said we'll finish up with our old business. Okay. Okay. Um, the one, one of the things in old business is that um, the mediation, um, the times for mediation uh, was not convenient with the, for the board because there will be a lot of um, vacations. People, the board won't be here, so we had to send back to the attorney that a date needed to be changed for the. Um, sidewalk mediation. I have not heard back from the attorney yet, so I don't know what the story is. So that's all I can tell you. Any other old business that you can think of? Okay, other old business, about three, three or four months ago, I uh, complained about the swell behind Old Meadow Brook Lane and Coral Bay Port back it up to Marsh Landing. We had the <laughs> ditch or swell, whatever you want to call it, clean one time. If you go back there today, there's fronds from them areca trees all over the place. And right behind my house, we have a catch basin or a sewer or a whatever you want to call it that catches water. And if they don't clean that swell up and get rid of all them fronds, we get a big rain, all them yards back there is all going to be flooded. So, so Susie, you sent me an email saying you knew the fellow that took care of it. They took care of it but one Monday. You said they would be back every Monday. It's been four months they haven't been back they here. They go back on quarterly basis, Arnie. That's what he told me. Quarterly basis? Yes. That's four months. And he hasn't been there for four months. And they should clean it when needed. Oh, Never mind the quarterly basis. It's a glorified mess. Okay. You don't have to look at it. I look at it. It's right in my backyard. We don't own it. They own it because we got my pro our property's ends on this side of the dip. There's a dip, they have a fence back there, and they have all their arecas back there. They always fall in that ditch, and it makes our yard look like baloney, like rock baloney. So I think they have a management company. They have a company that used to cut it every week and clean it every week. And if it's going to be quarterly, I think we ought to get after them. They should be doing it when needed, not quarterly. It's a mess. I also want to um, let you know that there there was a power outage. There's one been one twice now, and there are um, palms behind some of the houses back there that look like they are on private property, and those fronds are falling and they're knocking out the power. Now we have to get a hold of the. Um, FPL, and they, they need to go back there and look at it. If they will cut them, fine. If it's something that has to be done by the homeowner, then we need to let the homeowner know. What, where's the problem? Is, is it out it's, that well, same it's right near no, The problem same. is, we have that swell back there. The father I planted grow palms, and we both did when they were babies, my neighbor and me. I put mine back down, he put his on the, the knoll, his is underneath the wires. So, I, I, naturally, I told him when he planted, I said, you're going to have problems with them things get big, and they're always hitting the wires. Well, the last time FPL came out and tripped all the trees in the neighborhood, they cut the back side of them all down, because they only have one side grown. Now I see a lot of dead frogs up there again. So that's the problem. Yeah. You want the address is 23439, or big behind there. 23439. That's where the problem is. So normally the electric company would take what should trim them? Well, they can. They usually do it on a routine 
basis, but if it's your on your property, they say you cut them, you have to cut them, I guess. I don't it's causing a problem. They can demand you for is that does like, anybody I, know I if that's what the rules are? Power Irish cut was Yes, that's down. what it was caused. That's the report that I got that it was a frond that fell from the palm tree that that um, knocked out the power and of course it was on naturally it had to be on a weekend and um, they did come, they removed it and they had to reset the so we did say that we would look into it because this is like the second time it's happened. So we need to look into that. Um, I, I do, we do have an account with um, Gray and Robinson, but I would like um, to ask the board if, to take that account from Gray and Robinson is there's not seem to be anything being done. And um, I would like to get a hold of a, a different attorney and um, and have everything transferred, but they will give us a free, you know, that's concerning this. So <laughs> I would just like approval. I think I gave that to you, the, the, I think that we just need to change the terms because I think that this is, uh, it's just going too far, nothing's being done. And it seems so these other attorneys will uh, seem to be doing a lot of this type of thing, so maybe we're just better off. So I would like to make a motion that we, that we uh, call and ask for it. I make a motion that Georgia, you would contact this attorney and you said we get a free consultation. Well, always do, yes. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. <coughs> okay, thank you. Yes, it is. doesn't matter if you're out. Well, I, I, Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, we're at one place. I yeah, mean, do whatever you want. That's good. Okay. So you want to be recorded as abstaining or as going down? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, not a whatever. We need an answer. Yes or no? You agree I, I, I say uh, forget about it, is what I say. Well, then you I say okay, well, spend then, more, more money on this nonsense. All right, all right. I'm not going to, I don't want to. Yeah, well, you're right, though. So, no, there was money being spent. So yeah. We just got our attorney bill. Like, concerning this other uh, thing, that we owe him $800. That's just for May, for May. So, yeah, attorneys are expensive. I don't know whether they've got a copy of this or not. I don't have a copy of that. Read it. Okay, is there any other old business that I... Is there any other old business that you can think of that we need to bring up? So, so what, are you going to bring it up? Or no, we're going to bring that up under new business. Oh, new business. All right. Because I we're going to. Well, I know, but if we open up the floor, it could take forever. We don't know how long it'll take. So if we can get through with that, I would just assume we're going up under new business because. Okay. Well, we have another uh, piece of new business. Um, there is also. Um, the Reddicks have uh, sent to the. Um, The attorneys, uh, not <coughs> Mr. DeBose, these are the attorneys that, that handled um, in the, uh, the her first uh, mediation. So they are reopening the case um, at their request that we are in non-compliance. I can't tell you any more than that. That's all I know is that it, they've requested it to be reopened because we're in non-compliance which is fine with us, however it goes and when it comes about, that's fine. But I can't give you any more information than that because we just got this letter on June 20th and I just talked to um, the insurance company. So I can't tell you any more than that. So we are headed for probably the second re 